So, okay, let's just start with this question. Um, it says a uh, football player is uh, jumping vertically. Into so let me just uh, start sketching this out so that I, um, uh, I, I can make sure that I didn't miss any information. So there's some ground that the football players are jumping from. And here's the football player who have jumped and is going to be catching a football. Um, how do you throw a football? Catching a football. I can't throw a football. That's coming at some speed, or oh, essentially horizontally at him. Okay, essentially horizontally at some speed, V0. Let me mark that as a speed, V0. Uh, the football has some mass, mass, and we are given the mass of the football player. I'm going to use capital M. Uh, what is this horizontal speed after catching the ball? Uh, so when you hear the description, I, ha I hope you have this uh, sense, physical intuition, that uh, the way this interaction is being described, this is what we've been handling as a completely inelastic collision. So after um, this, the football and the football player interact, um, they are basically going to have the combined mass of the both of them, and they will be moving together. They'll be moving at some final speed. And because they said the football player player jumps, uh, we know we can basically ignore friction. We can ignore any external force. And because they said he jumped vertically into the air, we know the initial speed of the football player is zero. So initial player uh, speed of the football player is zero. So with a completely inelastic or what uh, might be more helpfully called sticking collision, in these completely inelastic collisions, what you have to use is the conservation of momentum. And um, I keep saying completely inelastic because uh, kinetic energy is not going to be conserved. And, and when you say sticking collision, you are just uh, avoiding any reference to energy, which is perfectly fine. When you are not sure if uh, energy is conserved, you simply don't use it. You don't have to make any statement about quantities that might not be conserved. But we are going to use conservation of momentum and uh, make this statement that the total initial momentum is equal to the total final momentum. And we write out all the things that contribute to the momentum. And because this is a one-dimensional scenario, our expression will be uh, quite a bit simpler than otherwise it might be. So we say, okay, the things that contribute to my momentum, momentum of the football, that'll be small m times v naught, plus the momentum of the football player, that'll be zero, because of what we said about his initial speed, is going to be equal to momentum of the final things. And I'm just going to treat the football and the football player as one thing of one mass. So combine the mass of small m plus big M times the final speed that I'm labeling VF. And I, yeah, they are asking for X component. Because sometimes people worry about, oh, what about external force of gravity? Sure, uh, and any gravity gravitational force will change the vertical speed. So as far as the horizontal speed is concerned, we can ignore gravity. So given this expression, um, let me do this algebra in Sage Math. Since I have it all up and everything, I know it's relatively easy algebra. Many of you can probably do it in your head. If you can, great. <laughs> Let me just be a little bit lazy and use sage math. I'm going to use a symbol, small m, big M, V0, and Vf. And let me define my equation. My equation will be m times V0 is equal to uh, sum of the two masses times Vf. And let me just print the equation afterwards so that I can be sure I have all, everything right. That's my equation. And I'm, I need to solve it for Vf. Uh, I need to solve the equation <laughs> for Vf. And it'll give me something. Okay, so that's my solution. Um, uh, just a, a single solution. Yeah, I, I guess that's right. We are solving one equation. Um, so with the underscore, I can refer to previous output, which is this list of things of which my um, uh, the first element is the solution that I'm looking for, V final. 
And that's a kind of symbolic expression. Uh, so all out of the symbolic expression, I, there's a bound method called the substitution. That's really what I'm trying to use to plug in the numbers automatically. Uh, now I can just substitute in these algebraic symbols for their numbers. The mass of the football was 0 0.5 kilogram. Mass of the football player was 87 kilogram basic SI unit. And the initial speed of the football was 17.5 meters per second, basic SI unit. When all these are plugged in, we should get final speed in meters per second. So final speed, wow, that is small. I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, football players like, um, I don't know, close to 200 times as big. So yeah, yeah, I, I think that makes sense. And I think what this is showing is um, you can basically ignore the momentum of the football in how the football player will be moving after the collision because the football was so small and unlike, I don't know, bullet, it's not moving all that fast. This is like less than 40 miles per hour. So 